Continuing our job talk, the talk continues about Mitt Romney trying to get the job of Secretary of State, but that will remain just talk. So says Newsmax chief political columnist and White House correspondent John Gizzi. John joins us tonight via Skype from Washington, D.C. And John, your article appeared earlier on our parent website, Newsmax.com. You say that Mitt Romney, despite all the theatrics and the great media coverage, will not be Secretary of State. Why is that, John? As each day ticks off, the odds against a front runner getting the top job diminish. That has been the pattern in this whole cabinet selection process for years. Uh, and there's considerable talk, much attention on someone, but unless he or she gets the appointment fairly early, it just isn't going to happen. Also, the other telltale sign is that new names have begun to spring up. A week ago, it was Romney versus Giuliani, with occasional mention of uh, Senator Bob Corker, chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. And now a new character has come on stage, retired general and former CIA director David Petraeus. His nomination would be controversial, but it's inviting applause already, even with memory of the scandal that forced him to resign as the nation's spy master under Barack Obama. So you believe right now, if I'm hearing you correctly, that Petraeus has emerged. If you had to handicap chances tonight, John Gizzi, who do you think will get that job? Well, I'd have to say that the odds are even money on Petraeus, that uh, Bob Corker is probably five to two odds against Mitt Romney at this point, four to one against, and I wouldn't have said that a week ago, as you well know, when I went through the entire history of former presidential candidates who get the world's greatest consolation prize, Secretary of State. Fair enough. Uh, John Gizzi, tonight from Newsmax, Washington. John, as always, we appreciate your time.